everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles. And um, today I'm just gonna do a quick project and chat with you about a few things that are going on. Um, so I hope I hope you enjoy that. So the project we're gonna do today uses up some of those book pages that many of us have. And it's pretty basic, but fun. And I kind of think of it as a scrap buster. So this one, um, I'll show you how to fold this over, but um, I left the, it open at the bottom and just made a, a journaling card and it's snug. I mean, it slides in and out easily, but it's not gonna fall out on you. Um, it it kind of hugs it in there. So um, that was one style that I made. And then I did another one where I left it open at the top. And I put this cute flower in here and then made a side pocket. Um, to hold a couple more things. So these can be um, just tucked inside a journal. They can be mounted on a journal page as a decoration. You can glue it all the way down and just have the top and or, and or bottom load pocket and the side pocket. Or, you know, you could, like this one, you could glue down and then have it, something come out of the top and have this kind of secret one coming out of the bottom or one of the sides. Um, same thing here. You could decide if you want additional pockets. Um, so these are pretty easy to make. I'm going to show you how to do the folds. But I think what's most exciting that I wanted to tell you today, if you guys have watched my videos, you know, all the time I talk about my favorite wet white glue, right? And I always pull out the little bottle and show you and I talk about the art glitter glue, which, which I love and that has not changed. But I might have a new favorite or close to favorite and it's less expensive. So I was going to share that with you. I've been crafting with it now for a couple of days. Um, and I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. So I just bought one of the smaller bottles. But what was what I really like about this is it's working and it's grabbing and drying nicely. And um, it says it's a professional quality archival adhesive dries clear and remains flexible. And I definitely can attest to that. There's no stiffness on my paper ideal for book binding and paper projects. So anyway, I found it. Um, there was a thread I was following on Facebook, people talking about their favorite adhesives and everybody was talking about they love art glitter glue, but it's expensive, yada yada. And somebody said, well, I use this. And I thought, hmm, I've never tried that. So I bought a smaller bottle. I did fill it into one of my little ones. I marked it and put a little ribbon on it so don't get it mixed up so I know which one is the PVA and which one is, you know, my art glitter glue, which I know I'm never gonna give up on, but I thought if there's an alternative that'll save me a little money, depending on the project and what I'm working on, this might be a good option. Um, but you can buy it in big jugs and bigger bottles and you can really get the price down per ounce, you know, depending on how you purchase this. So I decided to give it a try and I am loving it. So we're going to use it today. Uh, that was my big news, right? We're going to use it today and you guys can see how it lays down and, and what you think of it. So, um, and none of these are paid promotions. I don't have any kind of agreements with any of these companies. I'm just telling you guys what I like to use. I do have my Amazon storefront that I'll link for you in the description where you can find all of these products if you just want to look at it and do your own research um, or see what it is that I'm using. Okay, so let's make this one. It's very simple um, and leave it open at the bottom. So, these are um, some pages from an old Nancy Drew book, um, and I'm making an altered book, which actually I've got, hopefully I'll be making some videos about here soon. But anyway, I just ripped it off, and it's a par they're partial pages. Um, but to give you an idea, I would call that four inches by, oh, the book was not a standard size, right? Um seven and five eighths, so just call it seven and a quarter, four by seven and a quarter if you wanna make one the size I'm making, okay? And for this one, it's super simple where I'm just kind of folding it not quite in thirds. Um, and you do wanna to try to fold evenly, and depending on how I teared it, tore it, teared it, tore it, depending on how I tore it, um, it may, um, not be quite even on the torn edge. So 
Um, and I got that one almost the exact same width, but again, it can be any width you want. Mine ended up being two and three quarters, and I folded it at two inches on one side and a little more than two and a quarter on the other side. So just to give you a reference point, but honestly, just take your paper and fold it over and over and don't measure. I, I know some of you have a hard time with that and it, it causes you stress, but I promise you it'll be okay. Um, and you can, you, you might, it might empower you to just kind of go for it and enjoy and not feel tied to your scoreboard or your ruler. <laughs> Okay, again, could it be any simpler? Um, if you wanted to, you could leave a side tuck on this one too, like I did here, but we're gonna just glue this one together and leave the bottom open. Decide which side you want the flap. I haven't decided how I'm gonna decorate this one yet, but um, now you do wanna be careful when you're gluing it together because you wanna leave the inside pocket open. So first, just put glue using my new glue along the bottom, it lays down very similarly to the art glitter. Here, what I have noticed though, you have a little more time, you know, before it has, it, it doesn't slip, but you have a little more time to make an adjustment if you need to. Now we're gonna put glue along the bottom and along this side, because I'm not gonna leave this open as a pocket, just to close this up for us, okay? And the other thing you want to do is put it along here, really just along this side, so that you're not closing your pocket, but you're just getting the two layers of paper glued together. See? Okay. Easiest pocket in the world. And you know what? I glued the bottom. <laughs> so we're just going to turn it this way. So now it's open at the bottom. All right? Um, like this one. Not a biggie. Okay. And then um, I did sit here. I do have a pile of just um, little bits and pieces that we can decorate these with. So we'll decorate that one together in a second. And then this one has an additional kind of flap fold over. So again, I'm going to use the same size piece of paper from that same book that I've torn apart. I'm just making myself a little pocket. And now we're going to do the same thing, but this one's going to be more narrow. I'm going to fold the left to the right, the right to the left. And when I glue this down, I'm going to have a little pocket here. Okay. And if you wanted, you could make this side the pocket and just glue this together for more stability. Again, all kinds of options. Let's glue the bottom. And then... We're gonna glue, again, I'm leaving the top open. So this is gonna seal up this part of the pocket. We've left the top open, the bottom's closed, and then we're gonna put glue just on this little flap to make this a side load pocket. All right, and again, I don't know about you guys, but I'm happy so far with this glue. Um, I am happy with it. Like I said, I've been crafting with it for a few days and have made quite a few things. I made these yesterday and they're holding together nicely. Um, yeah, it's nice and soft, lays down easy. So if my opinion changes or I learn something about it later after using it longer, I will let you guys know. But right now I am thrilled. Okay. Um... Like I said, I just have a few little extras that I want our little decorations that I thought I would plop on these book pages to give them a pop of color. Um, again, you can make these complex or simple, whatever, whatever you like. Um, make this one look a little more collagey um, than the other. We'll put a couple of pieces. This is chapter. Five. I think I'll leave the chapter five where we can um, read it. All right, I'm not going to spend a ton of time. I did not plan out what these were going to look like. 
and you guys know sometimes I can sit here and get myself like, oh, well, that would look nice. And, and then 20 minutes has gone by with me rambling and you guys watching me glue down a piece of paper. Okay. Again, keep going. We could put, um, like make this into a little tab. That would be cute. Let's do that. So I'm just taking a label piece. It's already cut and inked. Um, and depending on how we place it on here, it can be a little tab. Very cute. And it's funny how just something little like that can take your project, you know, to a whole new level. All right, I do want something um, in here. Let me see. Let's see if I have a little journal card that's the right size. All right, it's a little bit um, short, but we'll put a tab on it and um, and it's got pumpkins, which really isn't the season we are in. So maybe, I don't really want that little fisherman dude either, but I was gonna make this into a tab. Let's see if we, oh, how about a flower? or something to go over those pumpkins Ooh, or a postage stamp. Let's do the postage stamp. It's a faux postage stamp. And we'll just repurpose this little journey card. And it kind of brings the blue a little bit. It's not exactly the same color, but um, it gives you an idea, a little nod to that. And then I'm gonna make another tab and hopefully this one is not going to get um, lost in my pocket. Now you guys know I don't normally cut my corners that way because I find it really fiddly to get that little tiny piece of paper but I wanted a little tiny cut not a big cut so all right this is Cape Ann on it of course now because I put my postage stamp if I had oriented the card this way and not put it upside down that would have been cute you know what we're gonna let the postage stamp be upside down because I don't want to cover it up I can live with an upside down stamp. I might put something over top of it later. So it's not quite so obvious that it's upside down. All right, let's see if I got my tab. It's a little crooked. Yep, I kind of like this glue. It's giving me a little more grace, a little more time. Okay, but still not sliding all around and I'm not having to wait a really long time for it to dry. Look at that, cute, right? Okay, so we've made that one. And then we'll just find something fun. Ooh, again, it might fall down in there. Let's think of what we could do. Maybe I'll put it on a, there's some more little note cards that I have. We could cut this one to the right size. I'm gonna glue this flower on here and then it'll just be a rectangle card instead of a free-flowing like little flower like I have in that one but that'll be okay we won't lose it and you know what instead of cutting it I think I'm gonna fold it if we need to trim it we can I'm gonna fold it back this way um, give it a little more structure and the black, back, the black, the back is blank. Look at me. And um, it will, all right, a little too wide. So I'm just going to chomp it off. And I know it's going to chomp the flowers just a little bit. But that's okay. And, um, We'll just stick her in there. All right, it's taller now than the um, 
pocket, which is good. Um, I think I'm gonna chomp it off a touch. And we are going to add a little tap topper, something, something. In fact, I may just do it like this. Kind of hang it off the top. And so I only put glue on part of it. So we don't have a messy glue. So it's not a centered pull, but I like it. Yeah, got something in there. You can see that it's in there, but it's okay. Um, okay, it was yellow flowers. I did have some words here. I don't know what they all say. Um, how about just breathe? I always like a reminder to breathe. These were just some positive affirmation cards that I printed off. It was a freebie from somewhere. Apologize. If you guys know where these came from, um, chime in. Leave a comment. Remind me where I printed these from. Um, okay, and I don't want to forget that I've got a pocket right there. I'm going to chomp off a little bit more of the decoration there that works um so we've got this little pocket that we want to put something in we've got a few words let's see what else do we have oh here's a bird um maybe we'll put this bird in this pocket right there <laughs> um Either way, you can hang out a little more or tuck him in a little bit safer, but I'm gonna let him hang out, I think. I think he'll be okay. Look how that cute. So this little birdie is reminding us to breathe, which is always a good reminder, right? And maybe we'll just put one of these little numbers on him. All right, so this was a really easy um, scrap buster. You can see how quickly you could go through a pile of book pages and just make up the, um, the pockets. And then um, when you're ready to use them in a journal, I think what would be nice is then to decorate them with whatever ephemera or pictures, you know, images that you're using, colors to kind of match. Um, it would be fun. I'm going to put him in here too. It would be fun to have, um, put all kinds of stuff in here, to have um, some ribbons, some lace, you know, just depending on, I think I need to turn it. Depending on um, what you're doing, um, you could really continue to take these up a notch. So I hope you like them. Um, I hope if you're in the market for a new glue, this gave you some information to consider. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you get notified when I upload new content. I appreciate you guys. I hope you have a wonderful, crafty kind of day. Until next time.